Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Backpack Battles. It appears there's another new patch. There's apparently also a link to the community wiki, which is interesting. I don't know why there would be a community wiki if there's like an item. I mean, I, there's always going to be a wiki, but like, don't know what the point is now that they've got like items and recipes, like the encyclopedia. Uh, there's a new recipe for a holy spear. Which I'm guessing is the spear in this new glowing crown item, which is the Book of Light. They've added the super auto pets thing, you know, how you get like a life uh, if you have a life missing before turn three. It looks like that is here, but it's at round eight, which is interesting. We've got the reworked ranger bag, gives 10% crit plus 3% per luck. That seemed like a humongous buff. It used to be 5% per luck. Okay, so it's like a... It's like a buff until you get... I'm sure there's some math. I want to say like 5 luck or something, and then it's like a minor nerf going forward from there. But I mean, the uh, by the time you get super high luck, you're going to have the acorn collar anyways, right? Piggy Bank now additionally increases max HP for each adjacent starved battle item. Do they need above the Piggy Bank? I like the Piggy Bank. Oh, and these all are starved battle effects. Yeah, that makes it even better early, which is nice, I guess. Might be returning to the Piggy Bank meta. Mana Potion now gives 15 max HP instead of luck. Triggers when, oh, when using mana or falling blow, 50% HP. That's pretty nice. I remember the mana potion being kind of super duper lackluster. Because you basically just lose a healing potion, but now it looks like you get the healing potion. I'm assuming that's not just max, but also current. Mana orb. Use 33 mana to gain 15 random buffs. And then there's a platinum custo customer card. There's the darkest of Lotus. Dude, there's a lot of new shit. They keep just adding shit. I think I'll go with the Ranger. <laughs> They've got the two bag technology. I'll go with the Ranger, because why not? I like how they have the like color baggy thing, or the color markings on the UI. So let's see. Oh yeah, the wooden sword is not the hero sword. A bag of stones early is just really nice, so I guess I'll get that. Uh, we can maybe get the uh, horn as well, because why not? I know we've got kind of like a grab bag build, but... I care not. <laughs> you know, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> Even if we're not fine, I think we're going to be fine. What, there's a Christmas outfit? Interesting. Well, I think they're probably going to win this round because they have the superior sword. Actually, never mind. I have regeneration. No! Oh, so rude. I see how it is. Well, I've got a stone now. And I've got a wet stone now. <laughs> a wet stone and a dry stone. Uh, I guess I'll get the... Uh Hole as well, because why not? We're going to want the spear at some point, too. It doesn't have to be right now, obviously. Well, it couldn't even if it had to. See, a lot of people are rocking the Christmas outfit. I'm highly jelly. I should have gotten one. I have the superior max HP because of my piggy bank technology. They have superior regeneration, but I have thorns and more luck. I think we're going to be totally fine. I'm just going to advance the clock. Amazing. There's a thorn whip on sale. I really do like the thorn whip. I mean, okay. I'll grab the thorn whip. It might be extremely expensive. Uh, okay, the lucky piggy doesn't give the stuff. I don't think I have any chance-based stuff right now. Uh, second rock will be fine. Just have the armor thing, or uh, the coal there. 
I'll freeze the fanny pack, because I want the fanny pack. Fanny pack, good. Let's see. I don't think there's any percentage chance things. I think we're going to be, like, completely fine in the mid-game, just because we have so much spikes. Yep. It's not even a contest. So that'll, uh, let us do the spear stuff. Do I want another piggy bank? I kind of feel like we're a little bit too piggy bank maximized, but then again, piggy banks are money. Uh, I don't really care about the buckler. What does the spiky buckler do again? Wait, what the hell? There's a, there's another type of torch. Uh, the spiky buckler. Okay. It's just the same as the other shield. Interesting. I think I want to not. I'm not going to buy the service card because the spear is a common, so, you know. Uh, I don't know if I can get this spiky guy to have the fanny pack effect either. I mean, I probably could if I completely reorganize the inventory. So let's see. We're going to want... Yeah, no, this will be easy. See, there we go. And I can get the piggy bank as well. Which I don't think I can really have touching many start of battle items. So it'll be fine where it is. Or fighting a hammer poison build. I am greatly afraid. It's a slow, high damage weapon. <laughs> Never mind, I just crit her for fucking 24 damage. Get absolutely fucking blasted. I pulled out the gat and started blasting. I'll buy the spear. I don't know. Um, it's going to be kind of a painful transition. No matter what. So I kind of want to just leave it in the back pocket for now. Don't want any of these guys. Wonder what that new s torch could be. Oh, hold up. Mana potion plus torch. Okay, so it's like a mana torch. Interesting. Oh yeah, I kind of want to do a mana build too, come to think of it. Maybe we could grab a mana orb when the time comes. And the time being whenever we find one. Uh, Gooby would be pretty good for a spear build as well. Here's the mana orb. Do I want to just rip off the band-aid? I kind of think I do. So that way I'll be able to get another fanny pack. We can just go like absolutely ballistic with it. Uh, I guess I will... Put the spear here. I mean, a whetstone is very nice to have with the spear. And we can have the gooby touch here. What? It pushes... It pushes stuff to the left? That's actually so fucking pog. And we've got two slots that are free. Which is completely fine. Don't think there's any percentage chance items. I think I'm just going to send it. The gooby will be touching a stone and the spear. Oh, in retrospect, I probably could have had the gooby. Hold up, uh, what does this mana thing do? So, use one mana, this, and star weapons. The weapon to the left and right gain one mana, and it's every single time you hit with it. Dude, that is so ridiculously goaded. Oh, man. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're fucking spit-roasted. That's fine, we have many lives. Um, I like the banana. So I do like having a bunch of spikes, and I feel like that would help counter the torch builds a little bit. I think I will get one. Uh, the healing potion can be turned into a mana potion. Uh, I am gonna definitely rework the backpack very slightly. Because we're gonna want... 
Oh, but how's the spear gonna crit, though? Oh, good point. I don't think we can rework it, really. I don't know what B would it be. Um, we could probably... Yeah, there we go. I like the squish feature. Feels good. Could probably sell the horn at some point soon as well. Let's see. They've got the thorn whip. We're probably going to get absolutely fucking roasted. Just is what it is. Yep, it wasn't even close. Uh, I guess I could have a uh, Yggdrasil leaf. I mean, the piercing arrow would go pretty good with the spear as well. Yeah, I think I'll go with the piercing arrow, actually. We could get a vampire gooby. That'd be pretty nice. I guess I'll get another lucky piggy as well. Maybe I could get two potions. One to go with the health, one to go with the uh, other one. Uh, we're probably going to want the potions to be sideways. There we go. Okay, this definitely does uh, work with the spear. Glowing crown. Cleanse one blind, heal for five, ten mana, become invulnerable once. Very interesting. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to reserve that. And I'm going to re-roll again. Alright, can we get... We can absolutely get a stamina bank. I will do so. Uh, it would be nice to have the Lucky Piggy triggering as well. I think that would matter more than uh, the other stuff. Oh, an acorn collar. Don't mind if I do. Uh, they've got fire and ice going. I'm very pogged for them. They may actually defeat me as well. Yeah, it does look like it. Just absolutely roast my ass. That's fine. Alright, um... Definitely Acorn Collar. Definitely Glowing Crown. I kind of want to get rid of the, uh... Bag of Stones as well. Just because it's like such an inventory hog. So I think I will do it. That will allow me to get the uh, mana orb as well. Uh... <laughs> shit. Wait, but you can move the bag with the item in it? That's so badass. Uh, well clearly we're gonna want this to be here and this to be here, I guess. Then we can have both of these guys touching this guy, so items have a humongous chance of providing luck. And it's just the one item. Alright, awesome. We should be getting like a shitload of mana. Uh, do I want... Well, let's see. I guess I'll have the mana one trigger twice. We're fighting a poison gooby. I am terrified. We are going to get a shitload of mana, so we will be able to become invincible. I don't know if that... Uh, it does not provide invincibility to poison. I mean, it probably provides in invincibility to the poison damage. Dude, she's resisting so many crits. Ah oh, well. Another victory under the belt. So what does this guy do? Let's see. So it looks like Neptune's Trident. Holy Spear, 5 to 12 damage. Pretty nice. On hit, destroy six and cleanse one debuff from each free slot or holy item in front of it. Okay, so you can fill your deck with uh, your item with stuff. Use 25 mana, become invulnerable, and attack 100% faster for three seconds once. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. What does mana thirst do, actually? That would be the real question. On hit, gain one, 20 gain, steal 12 life. 
It doesn't say use 20. It says just gain 20. Cost 0.4 stamina per second. And we're currently using 0.7. I kind of think I want the stamina. This will also go well with the Gooby. We could get another pineapple and just have that like triggering Gooby as well. That wouldn't be too bad. I have two pineapple enabler or two Gooby enablers. Uh, there's a problem. I can only fit the one. Um, okay. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I still want the double pineapple technology. We'll be able to fit it in a sec. We'll just have to rework the inventory next round. We've got a massive spikes build. Very not great. However, we're going to have so much mana that we're going to go like Berserk, Kaioken, times 10. Yep, we're about to hit it. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, I didn't realize it. <laughs> it didn't change the stamina usage. Oh no. Oh no, are we dead? We are dead this round. Okay, that's actually a humongous problem. Uh, we need we need stamina items. I mean, another healing potion would be cool. A stamina sack is definitely helpful. A shield would be nice because it would fuck up their stuff, and I could have all the stuff hitting that. Shit, how am I gonna how am I gonna fit the other pineapple? Do I have any other percentage chance items? I don't think I do. I guess I could move everything to the right one and try to work something out that way. That's not going to help with this, though. Sag. Hmm. Well, whatever. Another fanny pack. Don't mind if I do. Rerolls are starting to cost more now. I just kind of want to send it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it anymore. I know it's bad behavior, but I'm going for it. If we can survive this round, then we'll be able to set up like a super shield and I can move the piggy banks. I see they have a stamina potion. Quite rude. Oh well. That being said, uh, I don't think they have any like enablers. At all. They just have the one weapon. How did they even damage me? This is the real question. So let's see. So they did all their damage with Mana Thirst. I guess because it was triggering over and over. And Spikes was a close second. Interesting. Well, Shield acquired. That's all my money gone. It is going to be a huge increase in power. Even still... For a variety of reasons. Uh, can I get... I could get another crown. That would be pretty good. Let me do like a... Infinite invulnerability build. Now the uh... Actually I think it's more efficient not to have the pineapple hitting the gooby. Interesting. Well whatever. In that case, I don't think I see the need to change anything. We could definitely... Just uh, move these bags over a little bit. So that I can have the double like fanny pack. But then how is the shield going to fit? I guess I just put it on the left hand side. Like so. And so. Makes the trident even less effective. I mean, what's the alternative? We put the bag over here. Okay, this is actually not that bad. Because the shield is a holy item, apparently. Alright. I think that's fine-ish. I'm a little bit annoyed. I was hoping for a stamina potion. I hope I didn't roll past it. We're fighting a Ribsaw Blade Dagger Goobert build. 
seems incredibly powerful. They also are nullifying my mana generation. Which is also incredibly powerful. However, I'm invincible now. Get fucking demolished. Alright. Stamina sack acquired. Have the crown here. It's gonna trigger this guy and also trigger the mana orb. So that will be cool. Don't really care about the armor bag right now. I think a blood amulet is actually perfect because I can put it into the goober. And this also allows me to reroll. We continue to not have any stamina. Uh, I guess I could get a pestilence flask just to give myself some more regen. But then it's going to block the holy spear if I do so. Yeah, whatever. I'm fine with my booty backpack. We're fighting an ultimate mana gym build. I am terrified, once again. That being said, they have a lot of melee weapons, so... I am just lowering the damage a bunch that I'm taking. I'm up to like 100% crit chance, basically, as well. Nope, this is the easiest round of my life. Never mind, so I'm getting my ass kicked. What the hell? <laughs> Never mind, easiest round of my life. It's quite the battle. Please. Good sir, I just want a single stamina potion. I need it. I need it in my life. A potion bell would be cool as well. So I will grab it. There's no point in placing it down yet. Because there isn't really room for it. I think. Not for it and also the potions. I mean, I could slow down my spear a little bit and have it back here. But that does seem kind of incredibly booty. I could put it up here, but then it would block the lucky piggy bank. I think I'm fine with it in the back pocket. A blood amulet wouldn't be too bad. We could maybe get like a vampiric gloves or something. That's, a, that's definitely a big item that I'm just missing. All the other dudes have it. Which is what it is. They also have the anti... The anti-buff uh, technology. Slowing my healing down immensely. By healing mean mana. However, they have been destroyed. Dude, once the spear gets going, I think the extra stamina is paying off greatly. Wait, what's this? Pumpkin? On hit, so it's a ranged food nature item. It fires once every five seconds and has a 50% chance to stun. And once fatigue starts, you move, you attack 20% faster. Oh, but it synergizes with food. Interesting. I mean, I can afford the stamina potion and the pumpkin. It seems like it would just be a, a damage increase, right? There's n literally no reason not to. We're just going to have to reorganize the inventory a little bit, I guess. And I could, I could probably put the percentage chance thing on the pumpkin. Alright, I guess I'll put fanny pack over here. So I can have the potions be up here. And I guess I'm going to have the banana over here. And then the pumpkin is perfectly in the way. But that is fine because uh, I can sell the acorn collar, which is kind of not doing much for me anyways. That way I can just have the pumpkin over here. And, uh... I guess I will have it hitting the pumpkin instead of the shield. Alright, there we go. 
it's activating 20% faster. It's not really much faster. Wow, they're already invincible. Rude. Oh, I actually stunned them with the pumpkin. Amazing. Oh, they're fucking absolutely tearing me up. It's killing me. I think I might be dead. Oh! Dude, that's so rude. Yeah, they just had the superior build. Man, the cap of discomfort's actually really, really nice. Just because it, uh, prevents the mana generation. Looks like with a single banana, you're pretty much golden on stamina as well. Well, we came pretty close. I think that was pretty interesting seeing the new meta, the new item. I like the I like the golden spear. It's like considerably stronger than normal spear and combines like with one of the best items or uh, an item I like a lot. It's cool seeing the new meta and that like the counterplay, just like stepping in every once in a while, and just seeing how it's evolved. I feel like a mana torch build would be pretty cool as well. Maybe even like a mana torch slash... Well, I mean, these both suck mana, so I don't know if this would be a good combo. But a mana torch mana thirst build would probably be pretty nice. Yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Backpack Battles. Goodbye!